this is the eighth year of the haunted house. When I originally, the first year it was just you walked up to the front yard. I got some corn stalks and a couple pumpkins and just your traditional house you came up to. Uh, and every year I built off of that. The third year you actually started walking through the house. And now the house is 1,500 square feet and the haunted house is just about 2,000 square feet. So it's larger than the whole house that I live in. The haunted house occupies most of the house other than the kitchen, a guest bathroom, and a guest bedroom. And it's just it's just getting bigger and bigger. I really treat it kind of as a hobby of mine. I used to work on old muscle cars as a kid, and now this is really what I enjoy doing. Trick-or-treating as a kid, I grew up in the late 70s going out, and if someone had a red porch light on, I just thought that was the neatest thing, or a little of that pole cotton cobwebbing, and I just was like, wow. And with the internet age and how available everything is to anybody, it's just unlimited on the things that you can do and build. And if you have an imagination, I really try to pride myself on being able to build all my own sets. And sometimes I'll buy animations or buy props and then modify them, kind of really bring them to life and make them do what I'm trying to focus on what they do. The detail, the high level of detail, it's really the focus that I have is, is making it so when you're in a kitchen like you are here, that you feel like you're in a kitchen, that you're seeing everything that you traditionally see in a kitchen, even to the point of some of the rooms have different scents. In the front room, I have a fireplace, and you smell kind of that burnt wood fire, and then in the backyard, there's a cave area where I have this musty kind of rainforest smell. One of the things that I really kind of pride myself on is the ability of distraction. So when you come into the haunted house, you... I force you to look at certain things through lighting, through sound, through motions of a, of a secondary prop. So you think, well, that's the scare. That's, that's what I'm, I, I'm, I need to be careful of, when in reality, that is only the distraction of where the real scare is coming at you. If you're coming in and you see something and you go, oh, well, that's going to jump out, and it jumps at you, you know, you, you kind of saw it. And, and younger kids, the middle school kids, the high school kids, I mean, they like to come in and try to think that, you know, they know everything and they can figure it out. And I've been doing this a long time, and I, I, I feel I'm pretty darn good at scaring people. So I get them, I get them pretty much all, every time. The, the, the adults sometimes might be a little bit trickier because they're, uh, you know, they're a little too, especially the men, they're a little too macho. But I get them at least once. So it's just a lot of fun.